atikituza village ni mkono D6 of Katosi Road. I located a group of scientists led by Dr. Geoffrey Ainaitwe. <coughs> On arrival, we were given some coffee made by the scientists of the National Coffee Research Institute here, one of the 16th arm of the National Agriculture Research Organization, NARO. Recently, the government signed an agreement with an Italian, Enrica Penetti, to allow her company, the Uganda Vinci Coffee Company Limited, to establish a coffee processing plant in Uganda to process instant coffee. The move was, however, opposed by some section of Ugandans, but President Yoweri Museveni consistently defended the deal saying it was intended to add value to Uganda's coffee by roasting, manufacturing and packing instant coffee for export and the local market. However, the Ugandan scientists at the National Coffee Research Institute in Imukono have gone beyond Enrica Peniti's plan of packing instant coffee. They can now make cosmetics made out of coffee. For example, for industrial use, if we look at the beauty products, we have shown to the market so far that we can produce beauty products ranging from creams, lotions, uh, soaps, and, and other, other powders that, that you can use in the beauty industry. These Ugandan scientists have developed a lotion which according to them is scientifically proven to contain biochemical components that can make one's skin look younger. Coffee is rich in the SPF sun protection factor. It protects against UV radiation. The scrub is, uh, is for exfoliation of the skin. Coffee is a good exfoliant. Although the same creams can be used by both women and men, the coffee aftershave is targeting the men. The scientists also say coffee also works well in beverages like yogurt. We're also looking at integrating our coffee extracts into beer. That is partnering with the brewing industry. However, the challenge is that the products cannot be bought in supermarkets or shops in Uganda. Our mandate is research and developing products and continuously innovating to have more products on the market. You need to know that for us scientists, we are not business people. We are scientists. We love finding out new knowledge. Coffee contributes 20% of Uganda's GDP making it the highest foreign exchange earner. Uganda exports about 6.5 million bags of coffee, fetching about 837 million US dollars. This is far less than what non-coffee growing countries like Germany and Italy are getting out of coffee. The government and stakeholders need to understand that where these countries that are doing well global in coffee, subsector coffee industry, the research is well financed. This means adding value to Uganda's coffee by making cosmetics out of it will earn the country more money. If I can illustrate, a, a kilogram of coffee can go up to 5,000 or 7,000. But if you, you process one kilogram, if you decide to put it in, in, in cosmetics, you'll get around 57 units of the lotion. And each lotion it ranges from... 15,000 to 20,000 times 67, you already see this too much money, and the farmer will never realize that. The scientists believe that if Uganda is to fully exploit the coffee sector, Uganda can capture the African market and beyond. Jingo Francis, NTV.